Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. So, first things first, you'll probably notice, at least as I get a little bit into the review, because, you, I mean, you're going to see it quite quickly, this is the very rare, I would say, second take of a video. First time, unfortunately, on the technical side of things, there was a big issue, so it was just unsalvageable. Couldn't really do anything about it. I mention that because otherwise you're going to see very quickly, I ordered a three-piece of this, and there's just two, and also the, uh, the sauce is a little bit open. So, in that case, then one could obviously say either A, the person who delivered this decided to have a little bit of a snack, or B, perhaps I did a second take. So that's what we've got. So I've already tried this, and I know what, what I'm expecting at this point, but that doesn't really change anything in terms of the actual aspect of this review. So I know how excited I get whenever I see a new fast food fish item. And I know everyone else gets really excited, really worked up over this too. Like a swarm of, of great white sharks moving in for the feeding frenzy, right? People just start going nuts. Whenever a new fish item is released, you remember back in the spring, as is the case every year pretty much, when fast food fish season comes, people drop everything. They run, and in many cases swim, as a fish would, to their local fast food establishment. And Arby's definitely has people talking. And I know I say this with a little bit of sarcasm, but in the end I actually have gotten some requests for this, so there is some demand, and, and there definitely is a degree of interest for this. Arby's has released their new Hush Puppy breaded fish strips. So what we have here, you can get this, number one, as a three-piece or a six-piece. So this is one of those items that essentially you could either eat it as the whole meal, or you could kind of just get a three-piece and maybe have it as just like a little bit of a snack or as an appetizer. Um, perhaps try to get those roast beef sandwiches chased down, where I was chase the fish down with some roast beef sandwiches, that's what I was trying to say. Anyway, could be one or the other, some fish strips. And these are their Hush Puppy breaded fish strips. Here's what they consist of. They are Pollock fish strips. There's a lot of confusion initially. I saw this on social media. A lot of people were really, they were just scratching their heads and quite puzzled with this. Uh, they were saying, what relation does this have to Jackson Pollock? And it doesn't have any. So that's just the first thing that we need to clear up and just be aware of there. This is Pollock in terms of the type of fish. It has a hush puppy coating on it, and it also comes with tartar sauce. Now the three piece of the hush puppy breaded fish strips is available at the price of $4.30. The six piece is available at the price of $6.29. So it's a little bit more than $1 per fish strip. Now this is what they look like. And again, as I said, Usually there would be three in here. Right now there's two, but usually there's three. First things first, that isn't a decorative stain on the packaging. These are just very greasy, very oily items. So you have to be aware of that, that they're definitely going to be on the greasy side. And you could usually tell, like sometimes you'll get these items where it'll soak through the bag or the box. And this is no exception to that. That's what they look like though in the Arby's packaging. And I'll take one out right here. Good thing is that they're still fresh. These are one of those items, they seem to retain their heat and their freshness for quite a while, which is beneficial in a way, because sometimes you get these items that you'll have and after a few minutes, that's it. You have a very small window of opportunity to actually consume it. 
and beyond that, it's a lost cause. This, on the other hand, it seems to retain, again, its freshness a bit longer. You can see, size-wise, yeah, it's fairly decent. I think some people would call this more like a fish stick as opposed to a fish strip. Really the same thing. Uh, fried, breaded, and again, comes with the tartar sauce dipping. The dip comes with it complimentary, so you're not paying any extra for the dip. One thing that needs to be noted right off the bat, and this just obviously is what it is. This is one of those characteristics that I think some people like. Some people definitely will perhaps even revel in this. I know that there are folks, because there is a demand for this, you have various air fresheners and scented candles, uh, soaps and hand sanitizers of this nature. Some people like that really, really strong, potent, uh, fishy smell. These absolutely reek. I mean, they really do. The moment I got these delivered and I got the bag brought in, the entire kitchen immediately reeked of smelly fish. So, yeah, these have a very strong, very, very pronounced odor to them. If you like things that smell really fishy, then you're going to be in heaven here. If you don't, I'll tell you this right now. If you don't want your car to reek of fish, and you don't want your house to reek of fish, or your apartment, or your hands, or your clothes, don't even get this. I'll tell you that right now. Because these things have a very strong odor. So that's the first thing that needs to be uh, mentioned. Now, I don't say this to try to really bash on them. This is just the way that it is. Very strong scent. Now, going beyond that, gonna try them out. We know everything there is to them. Again, Pollock fish strips, Hush puppy coating, comes with a tartar sauce, three or six piece. They smell, but do they taste good? Let's find out. The Hush Puppy breaded fish strips from Arby's going in. saw a flying insect. Maybe it was a flying fish. Could be. Because I didn't get a good enough look at it. You know, here's something that I just want you to ponder for a second. In this blue glass, this isn't Gatorade, this is water. This was probably swimming around in that who knows how long ago? Just think about that for a second. Got it dipped in the tartar sauce, gonna try it out. Then the assessment is coming right up. Even though with these reviews, I oftentimes just like to be one and done, one helpful thing occasionally when these things happen, and this is my second time trying this out, it does help in as much that I can try to establish a consensus and make sure, okay, it wasn't just that one strip that I had. This is definitely how they are. So I can say confidently that I do have a consensus in terms of this, and my opinion is unchanged. I would describe these as being very average 
in terms of how fast food fish is. Now, I think we understand as a given that in the world of fast food, the way that the fish uh, can be, we're not really expecting a top-of-the-line uh, seafood restaurant, a place right on the coast where they're having the, the fresh catch and you're getting the best top-of-the-line quality. Obviously, you're saying, this is from Arby's. And I know that. I'm not being tricked or deceived into thinking that it's anything but a fast food fish snack. So, first things first. They're very, again, they have a very strong, very pronounced odor to them. And that, I think, would be a big turn-off for many. I know, in my case, as soon as this camera is off, I'm getting these out. I'm getting rid of them ASAP. Just because I really don't like the smell. And it bothers me in that regard. Uh, from a taste perspective, though, it's really what you would expect in terms of fast food fish. Very light, a bit flaky, a little fishy, a little bit of a fishy note in it. Overall, though, is it... Would you call it unremarkable? I definitely would. It's not something that you're going to be raving about and saying, this is the best thing I've ever seen. These are the best fish strips I've ever had. And I like these fish strips so much that I'm going to fill up the bathtub with as much water as I can. I'm going to buy 50 of these from Arby's, and then I'm going to dump them in the water and start cultivating, because obviously they need the water, they're fish, cultivate a community of hush puppy breaded fish strips. They're not that good where you're going to be doing that. Like I said, very standard. Without the sauce, I would go as far as to say that these are unremarkable, and it wouldn't be worth it if it weren't for that sauce. One thing to note, as for the breading, it's very fatty, very greasy, I would definitely say very, it's on the oily side of things, and that oily flavor, it builds upon itself. So with every bite, especially without the aid of any sort of tartar sauce, you're going to be taking one bite after the next and it's going to get a bit more uh, fatty and greasy and some of the flavors are going to seem very monotonous. So you get these items out there and it's okay, there's a lot of stuff that is this way. You have this sauce that really carries the thing. The sauce is what makes it. This is one of those items where the tartar sauce, you have to get it with that sauce. Now obviously, as I mentioned, the tartar sauce is complimentary. It comes with it, so I would just say when you get this, check the bag, make sure that tartar sauce is there. Because then, when you use the tartar sauce, that balances everything out. Those tangy notes from the tartar sauce, the, the sharp nature thereof, complements the fish strips very nicely. It offsets some of that greasy oiliness and that fattiness from the breading, and it makes it into a much better, I would say totally acceptable in that case, item. So without the sauce, very average, very bland, unremarkable, the sauce definitely carries it, but all in all, a pretty average item, very smelly, please bear that in mind. So taking all that into account, out of 10, going to give this a standard 6.0 flat out of 10. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.